Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to show you the Palomino HS2901. Uh, a couple things before we get started. This is a floor plan that fits your three-quarter or one-ton trucks with the short or long bed. So you can go either way, and we'll get into a little bit more of that later. We also order it in the cool gray uh, uh, exterior color versus the white. You do have a white option. The reason we do that is because the cool gray is a heavy duty gel coated fiberglass where your white is more like a phylon or they call it performance glass where you can actually see the fibers in it so it's a lot thinner not as heavy duty as the gray um, it also does not show your black streaks as quickly as what the white does we're going to go ahead and get started here in the back you do have a friction hinge door so this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds we do not have latches like we've had in the past that give brittle and break over time where you forget to unlatch them and you tear them out. We all know how that is. And on the inside of the entry door, we do have an integrated shade in the window for you. <clears throat> Fold assist grab handle at the entry door. We do have the roof ladder. It is a walkable roof. We also have an amber porch light right here. Above that is an additional bracket. That is for a backup camera, so it is prepped and ready for that if you would like to add the backup camera. You do have the max bumper on this one. You do have the flip up step right here. That is in travel mode. That is when you're set up. Um, you also have storage in the bumper on both sides. And here in a little bit, we're gonna get to the, actually we're gonna just cover that right away. In this compartment, is your access to your plumbing. This is where your valves are for your black tank and your gray tank for the dump. And then we'll move around to the side and I'll show you where the three inch dump comes out that you would connect your sewer hose to right here. So it is easy accessible to connect your hose there and to dump. This does come with your uh, electric jacks. Uh, Right here is the remote, so uh, you can run each jack individually or all four together. Um, as you can see, you have um, the lift and lower on each jack, front and rear. So if you want to raise the one side to level it, you hit um, lift or lower for the side. Or if you want to raise the back or the front, and if you hit the yellow, that would raise all four or lower all four. We do have the 30 pound LP tank. This will be filled by the Outpost RV for you, ready to go. Uh, outside shower right here. Does have your hot and cold. Uh, you have a, a recept here on the outside. You have your cable satellite hookup. You also have the tankless water heater. Uh, this here is 60% more efficient than the water heaters we've used in the past. So not only is it more efficient, you also have pretty much instantaneously hot water and endless hot water. So a very nice upgrade there on the water heater. We have your 30 amp connection. This is uh, comes with your detachable cord. So it's not a cord that you're pulling out or pushing back in. Uh, it is a separate cord that does come along with this. You have your city water connection and fresh water connection. Fresh water connection is where you fill your fresh water holding tank on board and then you would turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply if you're dry camping city water connection is if you're at a campsite or somewhere you connect your water hose to this for your water source um, we'll go ahead and move up front here uh, here is a female seven-way plug this is identical to what's on your truck this cord is also included it's a double seven-way male cord so you plug it into here and run it back inside your bed and plug it into your seven way on your truck and that runs your running lights and powers the unit. It also charges your onboard batteries while you're traveling and or if you're plugged into 110 right here it'll also charge your onboard batteries. Right here is a uh, portable solar panel port so if you do have a portable solar panel uh, you can alligator clip to this to uh, charge your batteries. There's also, it is prepped for a solar panel up on the roof. So if you'd like to add a stationary solar panel, that can be easily done. Uh, you do have four inch two, uh, bumpers here on the front. 
so the front of the camper doesn't rub against the bed of your truck so you do have a four inch bumper there we will now walk around the front of the camper uh, to give you a visual of the front side this is a uh, pre-molded fiberglass front cap they do use linex here on the side underneath just to dress it up so uh, it does look pretty good and you do have the windshield along with your LED strip light here at the bottom. So looks very sharp there on the front for you. On this side is not a whole lot. Um, we do have all the way around what they call the frameless windows. I do have this one open so you can see what that looks like. But they are pretty much flush mounted with your camper. And they do open and close so you do have cross ventilation. And we have your exterior blue LED lit speakers on this side. Um, this does come with your rear awning, and I forgot to cover that, by the way. We'll, we'll finish up with that here in a bit. You can add the side awning on this side if you would like. 20,000 BTU furnace. And then this here is where we want to talk about your short bed truck and your long bed truck. So if you have a short bed truck, your bed rail will stop right in front of this wing and then you can close this off for storage if you have a an eight foot bed truck your bed rail will come back into this cavity therefore this cannot be used for storage so that is where your short bed and long bed difference is um, on the awning these are power awnings it does have the LED strip light underneath the awning it also has your uh, braces these here do extend you do have an extension here to get your length and they do fold up and and just snap into place out here on the edge of the awning I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino HS 2901 and now we'll move to the inside if we step to the inside you'll notice there's an additional step right here this is a raised floor this is where you're holding uh, tanks are so this does have heated and enclosed tanks so it would be qualified as a four seasons uh, coach we do have your refrigerator uh, to the right your bathroom to the left your dinette to the right kitchen to the left your bed in the cab over and we will go ahead and get started uh, just inside your entry door in the back um, your refrigerator does have a separate freezer compartment uh, this is 110 and gas so if you put it on the auto position it is automatic so if you do have a power failure um, and you lose power and your LP is turned on it will automatically kick over to your gas and continue running in the back is a pantry uh, let's see here so you do have nice deep storage down through here And then this would be your furnace below the refrigerator, so it is a direct dump. And then beside that is your um, switch for your power jacks on the outside. The switch does need to be turned on. You do need to see the green light for your remote to work. And there is a charge cord that comes along just to keep your remote battery charged. So when that's plugged in, it will charge the battery in the remote. Below that is your battery disconnect switch. So if you put the unit in storage, do not want the batteries to drain, you can disconnect the batteries by that switch. In your dinette area, uh, this table does sit on pedestal, so it can be removed to give you more room in this area. You have a bench style seat. Privacy curtain into the bed area. This is a queen size bed so it is your standard 60 by 80 you have the creative breeze fan above the bed wardrobe to the right this does have your wardrobe rod in it and it also has the floor at the bottom it does have a handle here where you can pick that up and like if you have longer clothes uh, to hang in there or you can use it to store other items Foot locker on each side like you see there you have your nightstand headboard there at the top of the bed and your windshield does have a privacy curtain that snaps into place there in the front 
Uh, you'll notice there's speakers um, throughout, so it does have surround sound. It does sound good. There's a foot locker on the opposing side. And then we have your entertainment center at the foot of the bed. This TV is a 12 volt TV. So you do have the charge port charging center in the back. It does have USB port and a 12 volt uh, plug in. This TV is on a swivel so you can pull it out, swivel it to the bed area or the dinette area. Stereo down below, this does have a DVD player, Bluetooth compatible, storage underneath that. This does lift up and have additional storage underneath. And I'm gonna step back now so you can see um, the kitchen area a little better. <clears throat> Before we get started here, you do have a bank of two drawers at the far end. The panel that you see right here, it has a hinge on the top and the bottom. And the reason for that, it is a code violation uh, because of the plumbing and wiring that's in there. It has to be accessible. And so they that there can be changed out by you later if you'd like, but that is accessible by removing two screws so you can get into that cavity. You do have your oven, does have a drawer down below, nice large drawer, the oven. And then you have a three burner stove top along with your um, stove top cover, giving you more countertop space if you're not using the stove. The kitchen sink, same, has a sink cover, giving you more countertop space if not using. This is a roll up sink cover. It does have the slots in it so you can uh, set plates in there to dry. But this does roll up out of the way and is removable. Uh, it comes in two pieces, that's half of it. And as you can see, it's a single bowl stainless steel sink. Uh, overhead cabinets, you do have a lot of nice storage up at the top. Your microwave would be in the overhead cabinet. And then you have a nice large pantry again here. Uh, this does have adjustable shelving in here. And it does have a rod at the top as well if you need to hang up more clothes. And then you have a bank of two drawers down below that. Before we move to the bathroom area, uh, I want to hit the control panel here. Uh, this would be your control monitor panel for your water heater to adjust the temperature and to turn it off and on your thermostat for the furnace, your monitor panel which would have your exterior interior light switches, your water pump, your heat pads for the tank, the awning, and so forth. Um, right here, this switch here is the switch for your LED uh, light on your front cap. Okay, we will now move into the bathroom area. This is what they call a wet bath. So you do have your toilet shower combo along with a nice large countertop and a sink, medicine cabinet, skylight, and bath pan. And then obviously you have your shower curtains in there as well. I believe that concludes the inside of the HS2901. Do one more brief walkthrough for you here. Again, you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.